when I moved to high school so when I was uh, like 16 and in the second high, high school that I moved uh, they had a printmaking class and I was already interested in the arts but I didn't know anything about printmaking and then I went to the studio and they have a press and the mechanics of the press I found them really interesting and I just decided to take the class because I thought that it would be really cool to learn how to use a machine. That was, that was all. That, that's what happened and then I used to, to, to take classes and uh, I think I took this class with this professor for three years and also uh, by the end of high school I was uh, really hooked up and he suggested me to, to apply to an art school in Mexico City. Uh, without me knowing about this art school, you know, like it was just a pure chance and I applied and I got into the school so that's how, that's how I got into printmaking. And uh, after I finished there my degree, uh, we moved here with my partner at the time and, and my wife now we moved to Canada. And um, so most of my professional career has been developed here in town but I did start in Mexico but I feel like I'm in a way a truly Ottawa based artist because most of my professional development is been here. I'm interested in the kind of a sharp lines and, and really precise cuts. I think that that's more related to my interest in the early modernism and the idea of, of the mechanical process to create art that in theory doesn't have a, the artist's hand, that it could have been done mechanically, but it's been made hand. And, uh, and for me that's a, that's a really interesting thing because I feel like when the art became that almost mechanical, it gets some kind of freedom because there's no, it's became more, uh, like in a way, it became more democratic in a way because in theory, if you think you have to print my plate, you could print the plate. You can repeat the same process, right? It's it remove this idea that the art is kind, it's the, uh, it's touched by the gods and that's why you can do art. And, and I like to, to reduce the technique to an, uh, elements that can be easily read, but then you have this question between if that's handmade, it's machine made, if it was printed wrong or well done. You know, it's uh, it's really about the process itself of making the plates. I, I also do a lot of illustration, and, and in the illustration side, I do a lot of figurative stuff, but I feel like when I try to do something more serious, I want that, that this thing, it is a thing. Like, I'm not taking reference from, from the world, but rather making something new. And to make something new, I think that there is this personal style that, that I've been doing for a few years of uh, these straight lines and really geometric shapes that has become like a new kind of language for myself. So I kind of like the fact that I developed this body of work through my own experience rather than seeing things and then processing them, processing them myself and then reprinting them or representing them rather than making things that is just from coming from myself.